Good morning guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. My name is Clau, nice to meet you, nice to see you. This is my first ever video in English and that was a long time coming. Hi, that, that feels very very weird and a bit surreal. If this is the first video you ever came across from me, hi my name is Clau, I live in London and I am originally from Poland. If you are one of my Polish gangs, hi. I will try my best to add these subtitles. You guys ask me to have my English videos at least once a month. I will try to do it. Don't hold it over my head. I will try if you guys really want it and if you guys really like it. Today we're starting with a fun video, a challenge video, something that I'm really excited about. Okay, I've never thought I'm gonna say it, but I'm a bit of a control freak over backup of food I have. I have a lot. I have a lot of pasta, I have a lot of sauces. And what we're gonna do this week, I'm gonna give myself 10 pounds. Yes, you've heard it correctly. 10 pounds only to spend on food for the whole week. Today is Tuesday, so we're gonna do it until next Tuesday. Am I going to be able to do it? I don't know. I really hope so. I, I actually, I am hoping to have money left afterwards. Now, before you're going to say anything, I, yes, I am aware that normally you wouldn't have that much at home, maybe. Do you have a lot of backstock products or not? Because I, I do have a lot. Every time we go to do our shopping, we do have something at home. We do have some stuff here. We've got a pomelo. We've got some tangerines left and here I've got some um, drinks and two boxes of milk and I've got one in my fridge as well. I have a lot of things here. This is my more healthy snacks. This is my unhealthy snacks. We've got some garlic and one one sad onion left that I will need now anyway for my breakfast. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff here. I've got brioche buns. I buy a lot of stuff with the reduced labels, a lot. This was reduced as well. So we've got quite uh, quite some stuff. We've got a lot of pizza bases. We've got some bananas and some onions. Now here we've got a lot of sauces. And when I say a lot of sauces, I mean, look at this. This is all sauces. This is all sauces. Um, I went a bit overboard when um, I had clearance at work because I work for Sainsbury's so that does help a little bit. I've got some canned stuff in the back, some soups. I've got shitloads of stuff here as you can see, a lot. Um, my fridge is fairly empty I want to say. It's not that full but it's also not that empty. We've got some kale questionable kale that I'm not sure if it's still good to be fair some blueberries stuff like that a little bit of um, veg not that much and we also have a lot in the freezer as you can see the freezer is mostly full of my dried food like this is filled up to the brims both shelves so i actually will not go shopping today I, we will go shopping tomorrow so for breakfast i will have um two brioche buns they're like oven bottoms muffins and i'm gonna add some onion i'm gonna add some salami and some cheese and i'm gonna do it in the oven so this is what we're gonna do today for breakfast yum so this is the salami that i'm using it is turkey salami with chicken um i do highly recommend it and as you can see it fits the buns perfectly so i did two um two of them with mushrooms and two of them are going to be without the mushrooms now that goes into an oven for i want to say like eight minutes and look at this glorious breakfast this is one of my favorite and i do always add a little bit of sriracha on it i defrosted some chicken now i'm gonna put it on the wok with a little bit of olive oil infused with garlic and i'm gonna add a little bit of light soy sauce and some mild vinegar i just love mild vinegar i'm also gonna make some rice this is like pre-mixed with dried peas and carrots 
I also am going to add some garlic, some mushrooms, a bit more mushrooms. Alrighty, so my lunch for work is ready. We've got the rice. We've got the sauce, we've got quavers, and we've got pomelo. And I did the same thing to eat now, just a little portion. I've got one little portion for tomorrow as well. The only thing I will have to buy is water at work. However, I will take my water bottle with me, buy a big bottle of water, and that's gonna last me for two days, which is great. Good evening, guys. So it is almost 12 o'clock, almost midnight. And I just got back from work and i've got shit loads of food to show you however i did not pay for it so i don't know if i should count it or not because i didn't spend money on it i would pay one pound 50 for it or less um like i said i work in a sainsbury's so at the end of the day we reduce all of the things that are for set day so today for the 23rd to 10 pence and I grabbed a lot today, like I said, 15 things, um, I know, massive haul, um, however, me and my, one of my colleagues, we always, we have this little game to see who can get first to buy stuff, so he got my stuff today, I might pick something for him tomorrow, I will show you what I got, I won't include it in but tell me what would you do if you were if you were me um because i think i feel like that is a cheating a little bit um but yeah i'm going to show you um anyway what did i get everything that i'm showing here was reduced to 10 pence so let's go i grabbed two salads one mixed leaf salad and like i said everything was reduced to 10 pence and ranch salad which is my favorite i highly highly recommend if you ever will see it in sainsbury's on offer because normally it's, it is quite expensive normally but if you will see it if you will see it if you will see it on offer grab it uh i got some bread bread if you're not going to open it it will last you a bit longer than the actual date and then the half you can freeze i always buy reduced bread i almost never buy bread in a normal price so 10 pence again some um cherry tomatoes i always take them if they have a if we have a uh, some cauliflower cauliflower again can be in your fridge for for long amount of time i've got some mixed chilies again they are good way longer than today's date i've got some apple pies they were also reduced for 10 pence um so i can add this to my next six days at work or like probably less i might have some for breakfast as well um i've got some cauliflower rice again 10 pence um and i will definitely add it to tomorrow's meal i've got cheese feast um pizza which i will eat now because i am actually starving today was such a hard day at work that i do feel like i deserve it um two lemons 10 pence each my favorite favorite chicken if i could recommend one thing from sainsbury's this is it sweet chili chicken breast slices the best sweet chili chicken breast slices i've ever tried normally they are quite expensive because they are 275 so whenever i see them on offer i do buy it i still have two more packs in the freezer however i will leave one outside freeze two more this is something that i always buy if it's there and bag of oranges also 10 pence so as you can see that was a massive massive haul and i would normally spend one pound 50 so what i will do i will put that one pound 50 aside um and see if i can do it as if i would spend the one pound 50 today i have a few colleagues at work that i like we are nice friends and we do buy stuff for each other from time to time so it will be like that it will probably won't be that excessive because i don't think i've ever bought this much in one go but it does happen so yeah i'm gonna eat my pizza now probably not all of it i will probably do half and then have half tomorrow before i go to work good morning it is wednesday i just have been too little my total was 7.55 which is not too bad considering how many items I got and I think besides drinks like water um, I'm set for the whole week actually some Cola Max which is obviously not a Coke Zero but 
you know, cheaper option. And I do tend to normally buy that anyway, um, as opposed to normal Coke. And that was 39 pence. Then we had two sparkling waters for 25 pence each and the normal water for 17 pence each. I normally would take that one in sparkling as well which is 17 but they didn't have any did they discontinue it i haven't seen it for a long time but yeah so two each one coke and that's it for the drinks then i got some soft cheese which was 59 pence red onions that were on offer for 45 pence which is lovely as as i love onions uh we have apples that one was 37 pence and that one was 21 pence we've got yogurt massive tab for 99p we've got tortilla wraps the mini miniature ones i always buy the miniature ones and they were 49 pence cottage cheese for 64 pence huge family pack sized box of mushrooms which was 140 and 15 eggs which was 118 and that is it hello hello i'm coming to show you my lunch for today i just need to quickly change and i'm off to work so i have this i have um full um portion of pomelo and yesterday's lunch however i added a little container with greek yogurt to it instead of sweet chili sauce um so that's gonna be my food for work today Hello, hello. It is 11.30 p.m. and I just got back from work and I'm going to show you a few things that I got. So I spent 45 pence on it. I used my discount card. I bought three things. I managed to snatch my favourite, favourite, favourite cheesecake for 10 pence. Loving it. And some kappa soup from Bachelors for 20 pence each. So I got and a new york vanilla cheesecake um i'm starting at 10 tomorrow i do not have to make my lunch because i do not had all of it today i only had the salad i do not have time to um heat up any food so that's what i'm gonna have tomorrow um, and now i'm gonna do my usual <laughs> so brioche buns with um the mortadella that we've got left and some cheese and no onion this time because i have no onion to be cut and i am hungry hungry and i do want to go to bed quite early today and i need to take a shower so yeah that's gonna be my quick um quick dinner and we have two pounds left so we have two pounds left and it is wednesday so thursday friday saturday sunday monday um so five days so i spent almost all of my budget but it's fine we've got food for the whole week um, and those things i didn't really need it but i do um go through those not quite a lot but i would say like i have one every one two two weeks at work so i do like to stock up on them when they are on offer good morning oh that was not a smart idea to start when the kettle is boiling some large buttermilk pancakes from saint Reese. I will put a little bit of Nutella on it and then have some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt as well. Am I the only one that loves plain Greek yogurt? I know a lot of people have to have something with it. Plain baby, plain! It's still good! Let's go! The last thing I showed you was I think my breakfast. Or I, didn't, I don't think I even showed it. I don't think I even showed what I had for breakfast. But I think I told you I have pancakes. I just did my left hand nails. Um, halfway done. I need to paint them tomorrow. But I still need to do my right hand. Uh, but also I will do that tomorrow before walk. However, I just made myself a salad. So I got the ready mixed salad um, that I showed you in the earlier clip. And I added a whole box of sweet chili chicken. And this is gonna be my lunch because the only thing I ate between 4 a.m. up until now was the leftover rice and veggies that I had and a piece of cheesecake um, and one of the apple uh, little crumble apple pie whatnot. Um, however, I did not 
had a footage of that. I did not have a footage of that because I ate it at work. Three days to go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. The only thing that I'm almost out of, which for me is a huge issue, is cheese. Because I love cheese. I love cheese. Let me know. Do you guys love cheese or do you just like cheese? Because cheese is one thing that I cannot just, I cannot cut off. I can be on a diet. But cheese has to stay. I just, oh, it gives me so much joy. Um, however, I will try to just make stuff without shredded cheese. Although I added to everything. I added scrambled eggs, normal eggs, toast, absolutely everything. However, I think I could manage to get cheese. But then I did want to get myself another bottle of Coke for Monday, which is my day off. Um... I wanted to do a little movie night with crisps and coke and maybe a cider I don't know I will have to have a look maybe I will go to Lidl or Aldi tomorrow or on Sunday something like that we'll see but yeah I'm gonna munch on my dinner I'm watching Doctor House and I will probably go to bed in around an hour or so so i will see you tomorrow guys good morning it is saturday um it is around nine o'clock and breakfast is served so we've got scrambled eggs with some spring onion normal onions tomatoes and a little bit of shredded cheese toast and i am gonna use sriracha with it this is um, a new bottle love it it is a little bit after one i think it's like 120 or something like that and i made some lunch i have the same thing for now and for work and probably for tomorrow as well it is the famous tiktok feta pasta <laughs> Hello, hello, it is Sunday and I don't think I vlogged anything yesterday. I honestly cannot remember but I'm just at work and I have the pasta that I did the day before and some whatsies. Yum. Yum! Good evening guys, it is Wednesday so we officially finished our challenge. We have two pounds left which means I will minus the £1.50 that I didn't at the beginning of from the things that my friend got me, my colleague got me. Um, as you can see, I got rid of nails yesterday because I broke two at work. So I took the rest off. Never mind. Um, so we finished the challenge with 50 pence in. I managed to not get any cheese or anything like that. I didn't even get the coke that I was talking about for my movie night because at the end I didn't even do a movie night. I am missing two days of footage. Um, however, I cannot for the life of me find my memory card that I filmed those two days off on because because the one that i'm using now was full so i used a different one and uh, not my main one and i cannot find it anywhere that i would normally put it i showed you breakfast on monday that was the last thing i managed to get on this memory card uh for lunch i had the same pasta because that feta tomato pasta lasted me for three meals i think or four and for dinner i had cottage cheese uh, with some veggies and was these and that's it yesterday i had some wraps with mushroom egg um tomatoes and a cheesecake a little bit of cheesecake i did actually took that cheesecake to work um today um and shared with my colleagues so yeah that was it so i enjoyed filming the video i Jenny did and I think I'm gonna do some more let me guys let me guys know if you would like to see more I think I would give myself a budget of a 15 pounds just to have more flexibility on fruits and veg um however I think it, it, it is doable 
let me know if you want to see one for 15 pounds where i only eat what i buy not counting spices and not counting condiments because i think this is something that we generally all have at home but let me know if you want if you want me to do like a 15 pounds a week challenge when we include when i include everything as in like pasta um dried ingredients as well besides everything besides herbs and condiments let me know how do you see it um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching we'll be sitting stressing when i put the video live because it is my first in english and i am a bit worried and i do know i make mistakes and i know my accent it is a bit funny and it goes from british to american and i said tomatoes and i said tomatoes it is because i learned english from a few different teachers um my two favorite teachers where had both different different accents one of them had british one the second one had american one and i i grew up on youtube on british youtube on uh, british youtube crew but i also grew up on kian and jc and o2l and all the american youtubers so i know that my english is a mixture it doesn't bother me but putting it out there for everyone to see it's a bit different of a story but if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up i would love to see you on board subscribe and come say hi to me on my instagram as well i'm there a bit more regularly than i am than i am here there's more of me down there but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye